and I want to talk today about Azure Analysis Services. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, we're logged on to the portal on the Microsoft Azure site, and we'll go ahead and click on the plus button to add a new service. We'll type in Analysis Services, and we'll go ahead and create. We'll go ahead and enter the name. We've already selected a subscription, a resource group. We'll select from the established one. We'll create the location, the pricing tier. We'll just click on the B1 for now. Uh, administrator, uh, we'll go ahead and click the select link. From here, we'll have a name. In my case, I'm gonna go ahead and select on this one. We'll click select, good to go. Uh, right now, there's no storage key expiration. We'll go ahead and click the Create button. At this point, you can see the deployment was successful. So we click on our new Test Azure Tabular Model database uh, model. And from here, what we can do is, is we can click on the Manage button. From here, we can click on New Model. In this case, we'll just provide some sample data, and we'll click the Add button. Now that our tabular model has been created in Azure, we can see it in the Azure portal. What we'd like to do next is to click on the Manage button here, and from there you'll see that the AdventureWorks database was created. From here we have a few options. We can open in Web Designer, which is being deprecated. We can open in Excel as an ODC file, or we can open in Power BI Desktop, or lastly we can open in Visual Studio. Another nice feature is that it can also be viewed from SQL Server Management Studio 2017. Here you can see we've already connected to the new uh, tabular model, and these are the, the tables that are comprised the tabular model. So that's great. What else can we do? Well, we can also ingest the tabular model into our Visual Studio 2017 SSDT. And the way that we did that was we created a new project and we imported from a model. We entered the URL credentials and we were able to uh, download the credential objects into this nice SSDT Visual Studio formatter. And from here, you can see that the measures are there as well as the tables. And you can also uh, build the project as well as redeploy the project. So let's say you want to make some enhancements or modifications. That's how you would do that. Lastly, let's go ahead and show you the Power BI. In this case, we connected to our new tabular model and you can see the same dimension, uh, same tables that comprise the tabular model. So we can get at the tabular model from a variety of angles and it's a great feature when working uh, in the Azure platform because it can scale and grow and easily modifiable and a lot of developers can work on it at the same time. So that's one of the nice features uh, that we, we talked about today regarding the Azure model, uh, Azure tabular model. If you want to discuss this topic further or have any questions on Azure in general, click on the link below for more information and we will be happy to discuss it further with you. Mm -hmm.